Hi, and welcome to ADHD Support Talk Radio. My name is Tara McGillicuddy, and I am the host of ADHD Support Talk Radio. I'm an adult ADD and ADHD productivity coach, and I'm also the founder and director of addclasses.com. And at addclasses.com, we provide virtual support and education to people affected by ADD and ADHD. We offer free webinars, we have an extensive ADD audio library, and we also offer more in-depth support programs. You can learn more about addclasses.com by going to the website www.addclasses.com. And I'm finally back with a new podcast episode. I know it's been quite some time. I, you know, was planning and producing the ADHD Awareness Expo, which took a lot of work. And for a while, I was rebroadcasting some of the old podcasts. And then after the expo was over, I took some time off. So I am back now, and I will be back on a more regular basis with ADHD Support Talk Radio. So today, what I'm going to be talking about is what happens when you get off track with something, and what does it mean? What What's the real reason behind getting off track, and is it necessarily a bad thing or can it be a good thing when you get ba- when you get off track and i obviously got off track with the podcast and i use this time to think about one do i am i going to continue with the podcast you know maybe it's time to retire the podcast that's something i thought about also i you know, i evaluated what what about the podcast is working for me? What's what am how is it working for my audience? And I get feedback from it. You know, so what's working well? What do I want to keep when it comes to the podcast? What can I do differently with the podcast? Um, you know, what about it isn't working for me? What about it may not be working for the audience? So when I fell off track, or I know some of it was planned time off from the podcast, when I got off track with it. This was a great time for me to ask these questions, to evaluate and reevaluate what's going on with the podcast. Because I have been doing this podcast for nine years, since 2008. And the world has changed. I have changed. People's needs have changed. So many things change within a decade, or, you know, within a nine year period. So. You know, it's time for me to look at number one. I talked about, is it time to re- retire the podcast? And, you know, I thought about it. And interestingly enough, like, I think the day after I asked myself that question, I got some testimonials about the ADHD Awareness Expo and about my podcast. And there was someone just, you know, saying she thought it was great. It really helped her whenever she turns on the podcast and listen, whatever I'm speaking about or my guests are speaking about have been helpful to her. So for me, that was like, okay, the answer to that is no, it's not time to retire the podcast. But what about it was working? And you know what about it is working? The weekly format does work when I do it on a weekly basis. People like to listen to it. The 20 or so minute podcast is a good time. It's a good amount of time. People tell me they like that, that it's not too long. Of course, with ADHD, some people would like it longer, or some people would like it shorter, some people would like it longer. But the time, around the time, the length of each podcast makes sense. So that works. So what I looked at, okay, doing it on a weekly basis, airing it weekly makes sense. But for me, you know, taking, you know, doing the history of what's gone on in the past nine years of doing the podcast, things often get in the way or make it challenging for me to produce and upload a podcast on a weekly basis. You know, sometimes just I'm exhausted because I'm planning something like a big online event like the podcast or life happens and, you know, maybe something personal is going on and I can't do it or whatever else. I mean, there's 101 reasons why it can be challenging to produce a weekly podcast. So I looked at, okay, what, how can I put out a podcast episode each week? Um, but what I can do, or what I've decided to do, is I'm going to be having guest co-hosts join me. 
So some weeks you will be hearing from me, some weeks you'll be hearing from one of my co-hosts, some weeks I'll be interviewing guests, some weeks they'll be interviewing guests. So I've spoken to two different people, two different ADHD coaches who I've collaborated with over the years. I know one of them's been a guest on here a lot. Another one I think she was on when I first started, but she hasn't been on in a while. But So these two people are going to be on on a regular basis, maybe once a month. We'll figure it out. So this is something that, for me, it's like, okay, how can I do this? How can I still do it? But what can I do differently? And reaching out and getting support from somebody else, for me, it was having somebody else be a guest on the show or do the actual episode. It could have been that I had somebody else edited or I had my assistant reach out or something like that. So this is something that really got me thinking, got me planning, prioritizing, evaluating, reevaluating. And what prompted me to do this was the fact that I fell off track. Yes, I took somewhat of a planned break, but it was really getting challenging for me to get back into the swing of things. And what I could have done, which you know I done, I used to do in the past, is kind of beat myself up. It's oh, I, I'm not good enough, or I procrastinated, whatever the negative things that I told myself, and we often tell ourselves. But then I stopped. It's like no, there's there's a reason why I'm not getting back on track with this, and it was that it's time to make a change with the podcast. Our changes. So I know this this is going to be a bit of a quick podcast, but I challenge you, I know most of you listening probably have something in your life that maybe you're getting bored with, with, maybe you're getting frustrated with, maybe you just stopped doing it, maybe three weeks ago it was working for you beautifully, you loved it, but now it's just not working for you. So what I recommend doing is sitting down, journaling, speaking out loud into a recording, or thinking in your head, however it works best for you. I would recommend doing it outside of just processing in your head, either writing it down or speaking into something with a recording. And, you know, going, using the same type of questions that I asked myself. One, what about it was working? Um, Two, what's not working? What's getting in the way? What can I be doing differently? Oh, and for me, one of the big things that I almost forgot You know, what's driving me to do the podcast? What's motivating me? What's really, you know, and it's not just, you know, that that I have so many listeners. It's not just about the numbers. It's not that it brings business to ADD classes and my other events. That testimonial I received when the woman who said it was so helpful, that is why I'm doing it, to reach and help people and I needed to be reminded of that and for someone you know sending me the testimonial or sending the testimonial to my assistant that really got me thinking connecting with the real reason that I produce this podcast that you know it can be time consuming but it's rewarding that it helps people and I know not everyone listening connects with me or or my or my guests but For those who do, that's the main reason I do it. That's what's driving me. That's what's motivating me. That's what connects my heart to this project. So that's something to also think about in addition to evaluating and asking all the questions about, you know, how it's working, what's getting in the way. What is behind it for you? What's really motivating you and driving you to do whatever project it was, whether, you know, maybe it's having a clean house, maybe it's a work-related project, maybe it's something related to self-care and health, but what's really, and really think about it deeply, because sometimes people will be like, oh, you know, I do it for my partner, or I do it because I want my house clean, but think deeper, what's really behind you having a clean house, or What's really behind you wanting to be successful? What's driving you? So, I know I said this is going to be a short podcast. We're already close to 10 minutes. Um, I will be back on a more regular basis. Definitely in 2018, I'll be back with a weekly podcast. I'll be back or I'll have guests back 
maybe in the next two months or it's less it's before I can't believe 2017 is almost over but I will be back on a more regular basis I am leaving for the Chad conference in a couple of days I'm going to be in Atlanta connecting with other ADHD experts so I think I'll be coming back with new ideas probably new guests for the podcast maybe even another co-host who knows But I want to thank you for taking the time to listen, and I thank you for your patience because I know, as I said, it's been a while since I uploaded and produced an episode, and I will be back with more events, ADD classes, we'll be scheduling more stuff in 2018, I'm working on revamping the ADD audio library, revamping other stuff, so it's going to be a new and exciting membership site, probably... Definitely by beginning of 2018, maybe before then. So make sure you go to ADHDsupporttalk.com and sign up for the newsletter if you're not already on my newsletter so you'll get the information about it. Thanks again. This is Tara McGillicuddy of ADHD Support Talk Radio.